can't see. Well, it's a little bit better. It's only half as bad. No wonder. Hmm. Hey guys. Is uh, I hope you can see that I'm trying out a different way of uh, keeping my glasses from fogging up. I have a terrible problem with that. And uh, over the last week or two, I've been experimenting with different things. Uh, bought a little uh, filtered air pump. I think it was like 43 bucks, just as a proof of concept. And uh, taped it to my helmet, put this in there by my glasses, and it seemed to help. Problem was that my friend Don says it looks funny and it's really not made for this. But before I spent money on another product that I found, I wanted to at least try it out. See if it was worth spending extra money. This works halfway. You can't redirect the airflow without a bunch of Rube Goldberg fixtures and lots of duct tape. So what I did after I figured out this would work, I contacted a company called Breezeway. Now, Breezeway sells a, uh, let's see if y'all can see this. Breezeway sells this item here, and it is a purpose-built and designed helmet ventilation system. They're 200 bucks, but, if you can't see, you can't see. So, uh, after determining that this did help the problem, I went ahead and spent the bucks and ordered one of these up. <clears throat> I called them on the phone because I wanted to make sure they're still in business during this COVID mess. And a uh, nice lady answered the phone, answered all my questions, uh, ordered it over eBay, paid for it, or maybe it's their website, paid for it, and uh, they shipped it to me. Took about four days to get here. Came in a nice little plastic case, which came with a wall wart charger for five volts, a cable, and some extra parts, little dots, and two extra filters. Now this is a filtered system, and frankly that filter is just going to catch big particles. But considering the environment it in. So every little bit helps. My two main helmets is this Miller and my uh, Crystal 2.0 helmet. This one's pretty good. This one, when I'm looking through it and through my glasses, 
gives me a double arc. When I'm looking at the end of the big uh, tip or a tick welder, I can see basically a faint ghost image of it. This one does not. That's why I like this one better. This one has a very form-fitting helmet, and frankly, now that I haven't been to the barber in quite a while, my beard takes up all the space in the bottom. It has a lip right here that this can go on, but it's just not optimal. And my glasses would fog up a little bit with it. So I switched and put it over here on the miller. And the miller has got a bigger area down here for letting air get out of it. And uh, a flatter up here so that the air system gets closer to the front glass. And basically, has a little clip. And it clips in to right here. And goes up down near the front of your lenses. This is hard to do. Let me get the clip. Basically, I just clip it in. Sits right there, and you can adjust it on that clip to go farther in and out. Let's see if I can see. The end of this, this white square here is where the air chute is. And on this model helmet, it fits in a little notch right above the glass. And it seems to work very well in this helmet. Much better than my uh, crystal. It's got one switch that you can easily do. It's got one switch that you can easily hit right there with your gloved hand. And that's the noise it makes. It blows air directly across the face of this and then back towards the top of your head. Um, I haven't welded over an hour with it yet, but it's keeping my glasses fog free, which was the main deal I needed to do. It seems to be well built. I don't know about an issue about drying my eyes out, but I've never had that problem. And this little thing I was using, I had it blowing right at my eyeballs and it wasn't a problem. So hopefully this won't be either. very lightweight it doesn't affect the, the balance point very much so you can still uh, you're one of the old school you can still hit your head and make it come down so far I like it I'm going to be using it to weld up all these handrails right now and I'll tell you later on how I like it <laughs>